the traders. Welcome to this video. Will Sebastian here. In this one, we're going to go over how to use economic news within your trading so that you can be more accurate in the markets at all times. It's absolutely essential if you want to be accurate or at least keep your risk in check. You're going to be wanting to track sentiment, track the economic news that's driving anything from currency markets, commodity markets, oil, gold, etc. In, in metal markets. Um, indices, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. It's all driven mostly by one or two things. And making it simple for yourself, making sure you understand what those one or two things are, it's going to allow you to track and predict future market movements. So let's go ahead and let's apply it to charts and go over the lessons one by one. First things first, you need to understand if you're trading a market, let's say currency markets, the demand and the supply of that currency it's going to be controlled by the central bank within that economic zone. For example, there's a, there's a really, really good case here for the yen, where you've got the dollar yen. Now, these big, big drops you can see over here, okay, and here are representative of uh, Japanese invention, intervention feeding into the market. In other words, they're propping up the yen, which is bringing down uh, the dollar against the yen. And you had that across the board for other Japanese yen pairs, like the Swiss franc yen, the euro yen, etc. Lots of our traders took gains on that. So don't forget, if you want to join and learn live on charts every single day with us, the link is underneath. We're doing a Zoom room now. I've just stepped out to film this. Um, so yeah, in this instance, it would have been wise to track the, the economic news, uh, the data coming out, you know, in terms of the size of that intervention. But more or less, you would have wanted to see previously that intervention was on the cards. Um, and we saw that. We saw that come across the wires. We saw it get increasingly likely that the um, Japanese government would intervene to drop um, you know, the value of the dollar yen, for example, because it just becomes unfeasible after a long period of time to have such a weak currency. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about understanding the correct way to use economic news. And I would say, just in the simplest terms, the best way to use uh, economic news is just to apply it to what the central bank is likely to do. Don't worry about what job, job openings are or the exact meaning of, you know, any kind of jargon that you might see on some sort of economic calendar, investing.com, FX Street, something like that. It's not about understanding economic terms in depth. It's about understanding what the reaction is going to be from the central bank. And that's because the reaction of the central bank is going to drive the value of the currency over time because the central bank has the ability to restrict the supply of money, if you like, by putting rates up and stopping people spending and borrowing um, and also increase the flow by allowing people to borrow more at a cheaper rate, for example, in lower rate conditions that mostly favour business and growth. Um, usually when you've got restrictive policy, it's going to stop that and stop uh, people spending essentially which slows business, which is why you see it reflected in the markets. Um, for example, all the fears that you saw come around the economic news in regards um, to what the Fed's been saying, and again, very vague last night, no big picture, but you can see clearly what's feeding into the market with this is fear. So again, it's not about the exact uh, results or economic events. It's about me looking at what Powell is saying or the Fed is saying and then making a judgment over whether, you know, or how that applies to the S&P, for example, and what that's going to do to the decisions of the central bank. Of course, again, if they're more restrictive, you'll find that um, global economy or global um, equity indexes will, will fall, like you've got here, because obviously there's fear in the market, things aren't as good, you know, rates stay high for longer, growth slows, etc. So that's how I would apply economic news to an index market like this, or the S&P 500 e-mini futures. It would be all about what is the central bank going to do, based on what they're saying. I don't need to go into every single piece of data, you know, GDP, jobs, everything into exact detail, I need to know what's the summary of those events? What is the direction the central bank might take based on those events? How will it affect the asset I'm trading? That is the key way to use news. Don't confuse yourself by sitting there. You've got your economic calendar open and um, you're going through every single bullet point, even non even non affecting news, you know, yellow, like really low tag, not even orange tag news. That's not going to affect the markets or very unlikely to. And then reading exactly what the terms mean and trying to dig into all of it. 
Don't worry about it. Just summarize what that does. So like I said, an S&P will come down if there's restricted talk, hawkish rhetoric um, and fear in the market via that. OK, if you look at oil, OK, you would be looking at, you know, how much oil is going to cost people. Obviously, it's going to if it's going to cost more, the demand slows. If you're looking at currencies, what is the rhetoric coming from the Fed versus the, the, the Reserve Bank of Australia? We know Australia had low retail sales. OK, and we know uh, the Fed is looking slightly more worried and glum. Um, so you've got a brief rise in your old dollar. But before that, you had a fall. So you might see a continuation of this downtrend. It's not me looking into the exact ins and outs of every single thing sold in Australia when I talk about retail sales. It's me looking at what the central bank will do. OK, if they've had a fall in retail sales. Monetary policy is doing its job. So they might go and change it, lower, money, lower their rates, etc., to fit accordingly. So if at any time, if you're looking to trade any market, you want to look at what the central bank will do. Don't look at the individual events. Summarize what, it, what, what the central bank is looking to do, how that's going to affect the supply of money in that economy. Is it going to cause growth in an index market? Is it going to cause people to borrow more? Um, and then make the summary on what that's going to do to the markets long term. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, if you want to trade with us, go underneath. I'll see you in the next video. See you there.